Alright, in my last video I did part one of the Marvel Atlas. This video I'm going to do part two of the Marvel Atlas. Last video I also talked about a Marvel World Conquest game. Based on risks and axes and allies or whatnot. I know they already have hero clicks and hero escape where you make individual teams and they fight a battle. That's cool. But I was wondering what would happen if World War III broke out. So, and it happened to break out in the Marvel Universe. Or, heck, it broke out in the DC Universe. Either way, it doesn't matter. By the way, comment down below what country you live in, if you live in one of the countries that uh, are shown in this book, and which, by the way, here are the countries that are shown in the two books. Last video I did this book, this video I'm doing this book. Um, comment down below a country you live in, if you live in, if you live in one of these countries in the book. Um, and uh, what, was, what else was I going to say? Oh yeah. Well, I don't know. Let's get started. Anyway, here we go. This is part two of the Marvel Atlas. We got the writers, artists, editors, all that good stuff. More information at www.com slash universe slash O-H-O-T-M-U. Wow, lots of stuff. Anyway, first up, we got... Canada, oh Canada, oh Canada. Anyway, like I showed you in the first video, but you might not have remembered and you might not saw it, but they have official name, population, capital city, places of interest, government, major languages, monetary units, major resources, national defense, international relationships, extraterrestrial relations, non-human population domestic superhumans here's the Omega Flight's headquarters which is it's like X-Men but in Canada uh, uh, prominent citizens superhuman residents domestic crime international crime and history and of Every country has stuff like that for every country. It's amazing. Then we got Mexico, Mexico, Mexico. Viva la Mexico! I wonder how Donald Trump would enforce immigration laws against Mexico if they had superheroes that could, you know, just break walls and stuff. <laughs> or just jump walls. Or, heck, phase three walls. Or, who knows? Walls wouldn't work. Walls wouldn't work when you if you had um, superhero world. I guess that's why they got shield. United States of America, you, my country, tis a tea, sweet land of liberty. To the I sing. Land of the pilgrims spread, land of my fathers that from every mountainside, from sea to shining sea. That's my country. Represent. Representing. I mean, America. The United States of America has so many superheroes and things going on that you could almost potentially make a game uh, that I was mentioning in the other one about the Conquest game thing. You could literally probably make a game based specifically with the same ideas and everything that the World Conquest one would be about that was nothing but specifically the United States of America. 
maybe you would add Canada and Mexico to it. But there's a lot going on in just United States of America because we got Brotherhood of Evil Mutants, we got the X-Men, we got the Avengers, we got the Shield, we got uh so many different government agencies. Uh, oh my gosh. And just look at all the people. J just look. This is Manhattan. This is all the people and headquarters and different things that live literally just in Manhattan. So, the United States, which, uh, which Marvel Cinematic Universe Risk is actually set in Manhattan for the most part. But seriously, just New York. Just New York. Battle of New York, that's basically. Anyway, I digress. We got Boca Caliente. <clears throat> I think they like to make up countries on the grounds that, I don't know. We got Cuba. Then we got Haiti or Haiti. Then we got Costa Salvador. Yeah. Right next to Costa Rica is Costa Salvador. Wait a minute. Is there a real Costa Salvador? No, there's not. That I believe in. Then we got Costa Verde. Again, I believe this is another one of those fictional countries. Marvel made a lot of fictional countries. Why? I guess they didn't like the real countries. Or the writers just wanted another country for some reason. I suppose it would be pretty hard to conquer a world... Or have a one world type government when you got like superheroed people and extraterrestrials like hitting the planet every once in a while. We got Santa Rica. If you didn't think the Central America was already big enough and had enough little small countries, well, guess what? They gave them even more with. In the Marvel Universe, we got Terra Verde. Then we got Argentina. The interesting thing about this is I don't think every country that exists is in this book. We've got Blastonia. Blastronia. Okay. But every country that's mentioned in the Marvel comics is in this group. And some of these countries we got Bolivia that are real and other countries are not real. But the interesting thing about the non-real ones is the maps show us where they would be on the actual map, and then that we got Bosque Verde, and then we could compare what modern day country is actually there, or if this fictional country took is controlled by one of the countries next to it. Like this one, for example, looks like it's in Venezuela. Technically, it looks like it's in Venezuela. 
it's a fictional country, so it just might be actually in Venezuela. Brazil. My sister went on a mission trip one time to Brazil. That's pretty cool. You got Australia. You got Medsulia. I like how Marvel didn't just create a country and be like okay here's a country I like how they actually created a country and then they have this whole entire little thing of history about a fictional country they didn't just create a country Peru I don't like I also like how they didn't just take an existing country And be like, okay, it exists in our universe. We got San Diablo. They actually implemented historical figures and made up figures into the history of real world countries, San Gusto, for their universe. It wasn't like they didn't just go. Santo Marco they didn't just go well America's in it or well this one country is in Terra Verde well this one country is in our country is in our world hate unsolicited phone calls we got Venezuela. Anyway, like I was saying, they made they made an actual effort to implement more than just the United States into their comics. And then they did more than just go, okay, this country's here. Well, they went through the all the the ideas, uh, all the all the, uh, that it takes to actually create world building this is Algeria my bad Algeria they did all the creation of world building to history people politics religion uh, you know that kind of stuff we got as Zania and well I don't know if they they got too involved in the But they did get a little bit involved in the politics and possibly the, uh, not necessarily religion per se, but cultural. We got Baranda. I don't think the comics world tries to, they don't, they don't try to talk about religion a whole lot. Probably because they want to ruffle some fetters between readers. We got Kanan. Unless, of course, they're creating a whole comic based on a religion. They do do that. Got Congo. Congo. Egypt. Got Egypt. Got Genosia. That would be where the plant, the island where the mutants Magneto went and created his own 
government. And then I think they had a war in the government, United States government. I believe they destroyed it at one time. Oh, Got Howling. There he is, right there. Two peas instead of one. Amaya? Amaya. Kenya. Mabwangwa. If I butcher some of these names, well, <laughs> don't worry about it. <laughs> because this country, some of these countries are fictional countries anyway. Nairobia, some of them are real, some of them are fiction. Comment down below if you can tell the difference. Rudyarda, Rajada. South Africa. I bet y'all didn't know there was this much all involved in the Marvel Universe. Y'all thought most of it happened only in America, didn't y'all? Tanzania. Yeah, you, Wakanda. This is Black Panther's kingdom. Here's some more about the Kingdom of Wakanda. It's in Equatorial East Africa. Got the Kingdom of Wakanda. Got Central Wakanda. We got T'Challa Park, downtown Wakanda. We got Aquira. Busy. Stop calling me while I'm doing videos. Iraq. We got Iraq. I got somebody trying to call me while I'm doing a video. Israel. Yeah. See, Israel is. It, see, before the before the United States. Recognize Israel as a central country. Marvel had already done it. I bet it's dead. Hello? Hey, Jenny, how are you? I'm we got fine. Are you trying to call Jeffrey? <laughs> you know Busy. what he said? Busy. <laughs> Saudi Arabia. Supposed to be going to a funeral later today. Miss Thornberry. Uh huh. The baby Thornberry. Transable.
We got the Ari or the Sky people. Sky He's Island. He's still doing his video, so I ain't going to interrupt him. Okay. We got Atlantis. More about Atlantis. See there, Atlantis, right here, in the game I was talking about, where um, where we have um, the whole world. If we were to have a Marvel versus DC type deal. We would have a problem with Atlantis on the grounds that Atlantis is technically it's in both universes, Marvel and DC. And who would own? Would we split Atlantis into two countries for? Uh, it's a fictional country. It's irrelevant. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about a game that includes fictional countries. <laughs> Would we split it into two in my game if it was a War Conquest type game between Marvel and DC and we would we have Marvel Atlantis and DC Atlantis? Yeah, that's a good idea. Atlantis, Marvel, DC. Marvel Atlantis. And the Marvel Atlantis would have to be run by Namor, Prince Namor. Well, DC's Atlantis is run by The guy, you know, Aquaman. See, there's a little some of the things that just you know you'd have problems. Now here's Savage Land, the Savage Land. Now the Savage Land is where dinosaurs still exist. So something else Marvel got right: dinosaurs are still around. Dinosaurs. Which is true. Something else Marvel got right in their comics. The idea that dinosaurs and people would still be around at the same time. Which they are. And were. Now, they make up a reason for this. And it's because the Savage Land has been isolated on, uh, on, uh, Antarctica. That's their excuse. Well, Antarctica has been isolated from human contact so long that uh, the dinosaurs should still live there. Well, maybe. Here's some appendix. Just because they didn't put them in here, but they are a few other nations. And they're not exactly sure where they are. Like, they got the sub Subterrina. They got... Absimia, Eurasia, Gortokens, Lava Man, Lizard Man, Lionese, the Mole Man, Nathalia, the Skull Man, Tronus. And then here's the appendix of some other nations like... Alberia, Almerizman, Altier Island, Anzina, Bagman, Baltova, Brad Olin, Bloodstone Island, Boca del Dios, Bomeria, Bora Bora, Bora Bora, Calis, Central Syrian, Saharan Republic, Costa Diablo, Costa de Nero, Costa Perdido, Dakina, Demonica, De Georgia, Draberg, Eden Island, Europa, Femazonia, where all the Fem Nazis go, I guess. It's an Atlantic Island on Captain America. It's basically um, uh, Tamascura, but for Marvel. 
Marvel couldn't use Tamarskira because Tamarskira is DC. That's where Wonder Woman comes from. Godza, G Gudaza, Gilistan, Grand Nixon Island, Hidden Owl, Hydra Island, Inferno Island. See, they don't exactly know where these islands are. Now, I guess they could have speculated, but they wanted to be accurate. Good job, Marvel, being accurate. You could have speculated, but instead you decided to be accurate. Isisurite, they also don't know where some of these countries are supposed to be. They know where, where they might be based on the comic they were in, but they don't know exactly where they are. Kamer Atal, Kyrgyzstan, like a lot of these are in the Middle East, but they're not going to speculate what part of the Middle East. So I guess for the game I'm creating, I could actually put them anywhere I wanted to. Uh, I mean, I do know where it's supposed to be. Like, they tell me whether it's in Europe, it, w what kind of island, and where it would be in, like Atlantic, Pacific, etc. And then they also have a bunch of them telling me whether they're in the Middle East or whatnot. Uh, anyway, we got Kiber Island. That's Africa coast. So I could put it anywhere off of Africa. Kamaka, Kasava, Lakina, Lichtenbed, Maria, Mohandia, Merkatash, Naju, Naganda, Polo Centria, Paradise Island, Porto Delker, Porto Parita Salvador, Rapistan, Rio de Moria, Ramuka, Rutana, St. Carnell. A lot of these are just islands. And there are a lot of islands in the world, so I could easily probably find an island to fit some of these. San Conceburcon. Now that's in South America. San Domingo, which is Central America. San Gregero, San Pablo, San Rivlo, Slovenia, Snowfid, Tamaskira. Okay, there, there's a Tamaskira in Marvel Comics too. But it can't be the same. It still has Amazons, but it can't be the same Tamaskira as in DC where Wonder Woman comes from. Can it? It can't be the same. So there, there's another one of those issues we have. There's one in both Marvel and DC. Terra, Terra Nuva, Terra Del Mez, Telfria, Trebekistan, Topeka, Triju, Arjanka, Umbazaro, Volcano, Dominio, Yashoka, Zenith Island, Zerkistan, and Zawartard. So, that's been... That's been Marvel Atlas's book two, because we already did book one. Remember that God is good, all the time, all the time God is good. Keep on gaming, keep on collecting. Who's your Marvel? Who's your favorite Marvel superhero? Comment down below what country you're from, and comment down below your favorite Marvel superhero. And I hope some of this information may have helped you, if you even care about it. Some people probably don't. Me, I'm not just a regular geek and nerd. I'm a nerd that's into history and geography and politics and that kind of stuff too so stuff like this is even more nerdy to me than some of the comics people are reading the comics and they're like cool fights action battles attack and then something like this that they would actually take the time to develop these countries develop the history about them develop the political aspects and the cultural aspects and where they fit in the Marvel comics like if you read the histories in these books it'll tell you like where the issue this came where they got their information from so it's like you could get that issue and you could then read that issue and know about what happened from and see it on paper that was written down in the Marvel Atlas 
so this is like the, to just to just do this right here and actually take the time to try to world build I've not seen DC do this except for their RPG game that they did this for and they did it in 1990s and they only did it because of its RPG game and they really didn't even go into a whole lot of detail well maybe they did I don't know you can't find it I, I need to find it I need to buy it so I can see what it's all about but I don't think they went into as much de detail at DC as Marvel did here probably I think DC was just like we got to figure out something because people are wanting something this wasn't even asked for you, this not many people even buy this so it's cool but then a lot of people are like eh, I got it for even cheaper than the three ninety nine at the comic book shop I think I got both issues for like five bucks when I got them and I had to ask for them I had to call them and ask for them and they said yeah we got some of those we got some of those the comic book shop was basically like yeah we got some of those you want to buy them yay <laughs> cause like hardly anybody buys these not, not as many people are interested in I guess the countries as they are the characters but you should be in a thing I would like to see Marvel and DC both do is make a hardback book updating this stuff with literally everything they probably won't do it because it doesn't sell much that makes sense why they wouldn't do it is if not many people are interested in it but it'd still be cool if they did it I mean they make Marvel comics encyclopedias and DC comics encyclopedias about the characters all the time they update them on a frequent basis of every couple of years too why wouldn't they make a hardback book of the atlas or a hardback book of the um uh, for uh, of the histories or something of that nature well anyway that's been part two and i only get 33 minutes so i gotta let y'all go so laters Comment down below some cool stuff. Like, comment, subscribe, and share, and hit the bell notification. You don't want to miss a thing. And be sure to watch my the first one, too, because they're both cool. Later.